This conference will now be recorded. So thanks for joining this session. Actually, it was 8 a.m., but due to some technical issues, uh, it was not happened. So that's why I have changed at 10 a.m. So today I'm here to discuss about the 19C CTB PDB workshop. So as we know that this is the new architecture which introduced in 12C. So where we have container database, that is CDB. Inside that we have PDB, that is pluggable database. So how you will manage this type of environment. So this is totally new architecture workshop. And this is totally hands-on workshop, little bit theory, but not more than uh, that. So every task I have mentioned in terms of the topic. So let we discuss. So as we know that uh, this uh, new architecture in introduced in 12C. And before that, the old architecture uh, we called as non-CDB. So that is not the po uh, discuss of this course. And CDB PDB is available from 12C. And it is uh, uh, 12C, 18C, 19C, then production release I'm talking about 23C. But till 19C, we have both old architecture and new architecture workshop. But from 23C onwards, we will not get old architecture. We only get CDB PDB architecture that is multi-tenant architecture. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, first thing I will prepare for the server. So we required virtual box. We require to install the virtual box. And after installation, we require to create the virtual machine. And before going to install operating system, we need to do some modification in virtual machine that we will see. And I will install Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.5. So from where you can download and how you can install on your virtual machine uh, that we will see and uh, how to install the 19C software binaries from where you can download so that we will discuss. And after that, mm, this is uh, the uh, concept of multi-tenant architecture. So this is only one theory uh, which I will discuss in this workshop before going to start the practical. So first practical is started here. You can say how to create a CDB PDB database uh, through DBCA. What are common and local user in CDBs? How to create a CDB and PDB using DBCA in silent mode? How to delete uh, both the database using DBCA in silent mode. How to create a CDB and PDB using SQL Star Plus. How to create a CDB and PDB using DBCA by response file. How to create a PDB from a seed. Okay, so that uh, we see. How to delete a PDB from the DBCA that we will see and how to create a new PDB by cloning from a local PDB by SQL Star Plus uh, tool. And same way, how to do this by DBCA that we will see. And then you can also con create non-CDB through DBCA that we will show you. Create a CDB uh, 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 without PDB through DBCA. So that is uh, the practical. Then create a new PDB by cloning from non-CDB, means old architecture. And create a new PDB by using the dbms underscore PDB package on a non-CDB. And how to plug and unplug the pluggable database. How to rename a pluggable database. Okay, so that is the practical how to open PDBs automatically when you start the CDB and how to set up the listener for PDB environment, how to register PDB with listener and connecting to container database and pluggable database, how you can do that. Then user security, we have discussed about user role privileges. Then, uh, uh, Installing the 19C database uh, software binaries. So I think, yeah, so it is already there. 
and how to create a CDB using OUI. So that we will see. And then may how to do administration and CDB PDB environment and how to monitor CDB PDB and then how to perform export import or you can say data pump in uh, PDBs, in CDBs, in non-CDBs, uh, uh, all. And then uh, one topic is related to AWR, ADDM, and ASH. So these are the 20, uh, 32 practicals uh, we will discuss for this workshop. Okay. So this is totally hands-on workshop. And uh, yes, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask related to the topics i am enabling the mic so after speaking just mute yourself if you have any queries or you can type uh, in the chat box if you have any queries so i will take it at the end okay <clears throat> now uh, i am showing you my virtual machine on which already i have uh, configured uh, the things okay so let me show you that terminal so this is my terminal <clears throat> so first of all you need to check uh, how many database you have on your machine. So there is a etc file in which where is Aura tab file. So this file shows you the database entries. So these are the two databases right now I have on this virtual machine. Okay. So this is the way you can check that. And I want to create a database through DBCA. So which utility where it is fine. So here it is there. So CD dollar Oracle home. Uh, okay. When you reach here, so you are here. And then you say LSF and LTR, DBCA. Okay. My bad bin location okay so this is the location we go there ls hyphen ltr dbca so this is the utility over here so this utility will actually uh, uh, use to create a database and all suppose i am enabling that so just type dbca <clears throat> now it is popping up so it is popped up okay so before going to that listener you need to check okay uh, if suppose listener is not there so your this tool will not perform anything so ls nr ctl status so it is working fine okay so let me come here So if I be, make it big, so see that create a database, configure an existing database, delete a database, manage template, manage pluggable database. Suppose I want to delete a database. So when I go, so there is ORCL database, which I want to delete. Okay. And the password required. So I say next. So there is nothing is there. So just ignore that. Now this is the database information. So that will be deleted. But your database should be up and running. Otherwise properly not dropped by this DBCA. So it is asking that will you definitely delete that. I say yes. So when you say yes, so it, it is performing. Okay. So when this database uh, dropped, your information uh, your database will be gone from the server so this is the one uh, thing practically you can do that 
So if suppose you want to delete any test database or any development database, uh, you can use this DBCA utility do the things, okay? <clears throat> so just uh, wait for a few uh, minutes and after that we will see how to create a container database uh, without uh, without pdbs so that one practical i want to show you now it is uh, done okay so just close it and now if i check the file cat etc or a tab so see that orcl entry is gone okay <clears throat> now again i i am popping up the database uh, configuration assistant tool so let me make it down and then make it bigger so i want to create a database so you can use shortcut key also alt c and after that alt n so now here typical configuration and advanced configuration i will go with advanced and then i will go next and here it is saying you want to do single instance you want to do rack you want to do one node i will go for single instance and data warehouse custom database general purpose i will go for general purpose and here this is the way this is the option if you uncheck then old architecture database will create it if you check the new architecture database will create it so this is the option uh, is used actually now in that it is saying use local undo table space separately for pdbs okay or you can use common undo for container database so we'll discuss in architecture so right now i'm not creating any pdb so i will uncheck this and after that it is saying mpt container or with pluggable database so i will create with mpt so these options here you check and then go for next so here you want to use database template storage or you want to use your storage or you want to use omf also so i will not go for that uh, i will uh, go for template whatever it is configured over here okay and then file location variable if you click so these are the options which shows oracle home database name oracle base pdb is not there so no name db name oracle sid orc okay so just close it and then go for next and here you want to specify fra you want to enable archiving i don't want right now so just say next and now see listener up and running so that's why listener should be up and running and then say next so configure database wallet configure label security i don't want then here which memory you want to use asm user manage or man automatic user manage means manual and i will go for asm and then sizing so by block size is 8 kb you can't change process 480 character set that is unicode al32 utf8 which is recommended national character al16 utf16 american united states connection mode dedicated so these are the things okay now you say next so here uh, your enterprise manager uh, i don't want by default it port is 550 then go for next and here you required separate password or common password for sys and system user those are super user if i'm not following the policy it will ask the confirmation i say no uh, okay here i miss so now it is asking you want to continue i say yes now create a database and also you can save this template you also generate database script and these are the uh, customized storage location so if you go here control file so two control file will be created and uh, the maximum data file 100 maximum instance 8 log is 3 1 redo 6 file 16 
redo log member three, then come to data file. So these are the data file sysox system undo user then again system sysox undo temp so basically uh, whenever you are creating container database pdb seed will be there also so that's why pdb seed files is also there so four files for pdbs for seed and four files for container then redo log uh, there is group one uh, this is the size group two group three like that okay and now initialization parameter so these are the common uh, check parameter which is green other parameters are unchecked and if you want to move more advanced so the date uh, uh, parameters uh, increase okay i don't want to go there now all thing done so save as a data template no generate database script no only i want to create a database just say next so it will show you the final result okay so these are the things comes in this database so you can save this response file uh, on anywhere okay if suppose you want to save uh, at oracle home so you can save it oracle home otherwise you can save it temporary location so here you can save and after that you say finish so it is start creating the database okay so just wait for a few minutes and database is creating any questions <clears throat> so meanwhile database is creating so this is a weekdays workshop and this is paid workshop monday to friday i will take it and slot is available morning 8 am 9 am 10 am so these three slots is available daily i will take one hour workshop so in 30 days i will finish this workshop inshallah so this is totally hands-on workshop and every session will be recorded and uploaded on google drive but you cannot download you just watch it for lifetime period okay so these are the uh, things uh, which i do so yeah And also, I'm starting backup and recovery workshop, uh, which is also Monday to Friday, weekdays workshop. Duration is 30 days, Monday to Friday, daily one hour. And morning slot is available for that. So these two workshops is there. And also separate Oracle 19C database workshop in which CDB, PDB, and non-CDB, PDB. That is also I am starting. So these three workshops I am starting. Uh, but every workshop has different contents so don't get confused about that uh, oracle dba workshop demo i have already done and i have uploaded on my youtube channel uh, ahmed academy as well as ahmed tech uh, so you can go and check uh, those view uh, demo and also i'm taking mysql workshop a uh, postgres workshop because these days uh, you need to know Oracle, Postgres, MySQL, MSSQL, all top four databases you should know. And many way, uh, five, MongoDB is also required. Okay. So that is in future I'm planning. So these are the workshop uh, I'm uh, starting and taking. So if you guys have anything, you can connect uh, with my team that is 9648108988 they will reply you about the registration and processes and fees you can communicate with them and these are the uh, whatsapp number so don't get don't uh, give a call okay because call comes to me messages goes to my team okay so this is the number where you can communicate so now you can see 40 percent almost uh, done so 46 percent so first it is prepared for database operation then it is copying database so all succeeded now it is creating and is starting oracle instance so it will take time and if you click over here detail so it will show you about the things which is in progress and also uh, the bottom and on the left side you can see so there is a log location you can check and uh, about the processing going on and alert log location so this is the location so these log location you can check what is going on 
and if suppose anything issue happens so you can go and check that <laughs> okay <clears throat> if you have any queries any questions please ask And uh, every workshop fees is different, so don't get confused, okay? And uh, well, you can communicate with my team regarding the fees. So this is my YouTube uh, channel location. You can go and check after the session. So here uh, I have almost 124 videos and 4,000 plus subscriber we have. Uh, I have started this channel in 2020 April. Yeah. Uh, yes, we can download Linux version <clears throat> from the Oracle site or from Oracle e-delivery site. So e-delivery site required an account. So if you have an account, then you can download. So account is must. You can create by your personal mail ID and you can download. So I will show you in the workshop. And if we, <clears throat> if you guys call me, you know, want to discuss anything regarding the workshop doubts and badge, you can call me after 7 p.m. Uh, so that is my time availability, and we can uh, communicate if you want on same number.
and minimum I require 10 candidates so whenever it complete I will start the batch so most probably uh, my date is 1st April I'm planning otherwise we can confirm my team will confirm So now uh, if you can see the window, so it is 60%. So cre creating an Oracle is succeeded. Now com completing database creation is in progress. So see that database complication is in progress. So just uh, wait for a few more minutes and then we are good to go to create a database, container database. Have you created container database in your environment or in your testing environment for personal laptop? Anyone? <clears throat> okay. Thanks, you are. Or replies. And uh, speed matters, so it depends on RAM. So if RAM is good, this uh, task will create it fast. If RAM is low, it will take time. So generally, uh, in my machine, I have given 8 GB RAM. So according to 8 GB RAM, you can see how it's proceed the practical task. Munir Ahmed is asking, will be having hands-on this lab environment or we need to have own personal machine for lab practice? You required your laptop. I can guide you how to create your virtual machine and environment. Okay, so lab environment I'm not providing uh, because for that uh, training cost will be more. Lab cost is different, training cost is different. Okay, so now uh, if you see the terminal, it is all done. So you have the option for password management also to manage if suppose you forget. So by clicking on this, so sys and system is unlock account and the rest account are logged. So I don't want to do anything. And when you say close, so it will gone and uh, just clear <clears throat> and now see uh, whether this database comes or not. So cat etc 
uh, or a tab. So here ORCL comes, so just export uh, Oracle SID equals to ORCL SQL plus slash S is DBA. So it is open. Okay. So how you can check whether it is a container database or whether it is a pluggable database? <coughs> Any idea? So first, uh, what will be the total uh, size of uh, the database? So the, my total database size is 2.44 GBs. Okay. And uh, uh, what uh, the data occupied in your database? So this is the query. So that is data occupied is 1.755. Okay. And then there is a view uh, which is uh, which is used for database related information. So V dollar database. So here you can take and uh, choose the thing. So first uh, CDBs. Uh, first I will take the name. Okay. So here is the name. Okay. So select name comma uh, cdb comma container id comma log mode or open underscore mode from v dollar database so see that uh, this is container database means it is new architecture database CDB. It is showing yes and my container ID is, is zero. Okay, so this is actually container database. Now if I say show uh, container uh, name. So it is saying uh, CDB dollar root. So if I say show container ID so for root it is showing one okay so the common container ID is zero inside that we have CDB dollar root its ID is one now if you say show PDBs so the next uh, there is a template which already comes whether you are uh, creating without PDB or with PDB so this is the template and this ID is two so like that your PDB increase uh, ID will be increased. So this is the way uh, we actually uh, do that uh, this uh, workshop. Okay. And uh, yes, so that's it from my side today. And uh, if you have any questions, please ask regarding this. So I'm enabling the mic. If suppose you are lazy to type in the chat box, you can speak. So I'm stopping the recording.